if you thought the road trip video was great i have more more great stuff for you right here i have the top 10 overtly sexual pop songs oh man am, am i excited for this i haven't even watched the um the thumbnail of, of this yet this is gonna be hilarious sexual pop songs sexual fucking pop songs it isn't even um in the suggestion bar because it is you know it, it has sex in the title so there we are miss mojo trying to be um uh, porn like because sexual because views i really don't understand that people trying to be sexual on youtube to gain views you know because uh clickbaiting just go to a fucking porn site. I really don't, don't get fucking get those people. Top 10 overtly sexual pop songs. Um, what is the fucking thumbnail for this? Um, girls riding on a, you know, fitness equipment. On a fucking bike or something like that. Um, I'm not sure how you call that, but whatever. Um, yeah, top 10 overtly sexual pop songs. This is gonna be fucking garbage. I know that for sure. <sighs> yeah, um, like that side, I'm not as excited for this. We're gonna check it out anyways, but still, it's gonna be shit, probably. Modern Mariah Carey. Oh shit, I can't fucking mute this. I can't mute this. For this list, we're looking at pop songs with explicit sexual content that's too blatant to miss. And are basing our choices on... Just, oh, that is Ariana Grande. Didn't know that. I offend... Yeah, I offended Mariah Carey with the girls. She isn't perfect. I mean, how can you be as brain dead as that? It is rap, and this video is called pop songs. How can you, how can you think like that, Miss Mojo? How nobody thinks like that? Nobody. Number ten. Peacock. Well, some people, but they are really dumb. Whoa! Another sexual song by Katy Perry. Surprise! Surprise! You know, the lyrics with I want to see you and then cock in the fucking lyrics. She, is, she isn't even subtle about it. And then she goes up to a guy and says those things. Just fucking bang her backstage, man. She she's just asking for it, man. I mean, how simple is it to play uh, instruments for Katy Perry? That must be the most easiest job ever. It must be. Your body, Samantha Fox. 80s cheese. Gotta love that. Well, it's hard to argue that I'm joking. If you didn't know that. I didn't even know that Katy Perry had a song about the peacocks. I really didn't. No, we're not on the Katy Perry subject anymore, but still, those lyrics. <laughs> I want to see your peak. She's not even subtle, isn't she? I was glad I didn't know that song, and, uh, and now I do, so yeah. Fuck. 
Oh, these are some horrible lyrics as well. She wants to feel you. Yeah. Oh, that nerd. <laughs> that nerd in the video. <laughs> oh, man. He's in love with the plastic surgery. Oh, man. Love rocks. Despite the candy tinged R and B shell, Harry gets more glass so about cringe. carnal desires than the raciest Harlequin romance novel. From wanting to be dominated to how she plans to pleasure her partner back. It's hard to ignore the sensuality of her demands to be wrestled and played with on the floor. Even when watching the goofy video she made with the innocent looking Jack McBrayer. Uh, I will say that Mar Mariah Carey is still a good singer though, but you know her voice, of her, her uh, face, man. Such a shame. Number seven. She, she, she could have stayed beautiful, man, if, if it wasn't a plastic surgery. Red light special, TLC. Such a fucking shame. One of the most beautiful women ever did that, man. When red light is in the title, you can pretty much assume these lyrics are not going to be G-rated. Flipping the script on the police's Roxanne, Red Light Special is an invitation extended to gentlemen lovers. To real men who... The, the, best, the best song about Red Light, you know, it is Roxanne. Know how to please. If, if, if you don't agree with me, then your opinion is invalid. It really is. It is Roxanne. It is. Such a horrible music video. Just guys wanting to do... Just want, wanting to have sex. I don't want to see that shit, please. Basically a porn video right there. Yeah, flip off the table, sure. Edgy as fuck, right? Number six, S and M, Rihanna. Normalizing taboo subjects is what. Now Rihanna is a fucking Barbie because she's literally packed up in plastic. I mean, if she isn't a Barbie doll, then it isn't true because she literally portrays that in the music video. That pop is fucking plastic. Modern pop, at least. Level of nuance on the subject as a Fifty Shades movie, Rihanna tackles sadomasochism pretty bluntly on SNL. Thinking about chains and whips. <laughs> Miss Bit. She, although, although it is horrible, she had Miss Piggy in the music video. Fucking hell. Oh, and a sex doll. Lovely, lovely. Just having the two letters S and M, just milk it out uh, through the entire bridge. That is Rihanna for you. Fucking no. Just milk out two letters in 30 seconds, man. Amazing, Rihanna. Amazing. Is she talking about D Amy? If she's talking about D Amy, then fuck you, Britney Spears. With those horrible auto tuned vocals. Each course finds Britney getting as overt as possible while not actually saying anything. Using 
the power of phonetics. She never says anything. She never does. Such a cheap video. Oh, I like this though. The weekend and Nara and the Grande. Great recipe. I'm, I'm actually not sarcastic there. I actually quite enjoy that. Don't, uh, don't judge me. And I think this is decent as well. But, be, uh, but the reason I sighed was because Nicki Minaj is on this. She fucking ruins everything. Why collaborate with her? You're so much better than her. No. No. Of course she does, because she's a fucking slut. How to ruin a good pop song, have Nicki Minaj on it. Oh, that, that is good for you. That is good for you. If this was on the honorable match, and I, I was not gonna say the fucking title. Best title ever. Title alone. Was the lyrics suggestive undertones mixed with Madonna's sultry delivery that cemented it as the seductive song it is? Between her repeated moans at the end of the track, and keeping in line with the moans, fucking slow. I didn't expect that, the, that this list was going to be shit. I really didn't. There's no hope for this channel. There really isn't. Physical by Olivia Newton-John. One of the more, one of the worst outdated songs ever. Talking body but tough love. Horrible, horrible name. And if that is actually her name, then I'm sorry for her. Whistle by Flo. Speaking of the worst names, naming yourself after a fucking state, Flo Rida. And having a song about blowjobs. <laughs> Flowrider is one of the biggest pieces of shit ever. But number one. Wow, I actually think this is a great song. This is a great song. I 
I love Fame that in Grand Record. If you can tell that this is a sexual song, then what is wrong with you? Those grunts. Great pop music. It is possible. It is. Um, yeah, this was one of these really, really weird lists by Miss Mojo, or weird. It was just crap. And then the one saving grace is the number one. Um, I actually thought that, um, I believe Ari Ariana Grande was alright as well, but like I said, you know, you have Nicki Minaj on there and it is a recipe for disaster. So, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think about the list. I think the only good pick is number one. Um, and Ariana Grande, but still. George Michael destroys her. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it. Let me know what you think about it and take care.